Well, good afternoon, team. My name is Will Smith. I'm the project management supervisor for the Department of Capital Program. Uh, joining us, we have Joe Howell, which is our project manager three uh, for Department of, uh, Department of Capital Program. Also, we have Hewitt Halley Selassie, who is the project manager for C. Elizabeth Rieg and Bowie Annex renovation projects. And then we also have Kamor Muse, who is the project manager for the Meadowbrook uh, modular uh, installation. And so with that, we're gonna start off first by showing a, uh, maybe we give a brief introduction uh, of kind of where we are. So Meadowbrook, as you guys know, we're installing, or maybe you not know, uh, we're installing a 10 classroom modular complex on that site to assist with additional capacity uh, that will be needed for uh, swing in Hyattsville, I'm sorry, swing in Hyattsville to that site. Um, we are actively working with the engineer, city of Bowie, uh, Department of uh, Permanent Inspection Enforcement with Prince George's County, uh, and the contractor in order to uh, get this actively um, designed, permitted, and, and, and constructed in, in order to get it on site and ready for uh, occupancy at the start of this school year. Um, I'm gonna show a brief example of one of the other modular complexes that was installed previously over at Akakit Academy. Uh, that way you can get, kind of get a visual of what the complex will look like. And so bear with me while I share briefly.
So as you guys can see, that is those units are uh, will be a, a wonderful addition over to that site. You know, they are really self-contained units uh, that will have all of the upgrades uh, that we really need for the students of our county. Uh, of course, you know, as you saw, it would have the security features, it would have the Wi-Fi, it would have smart boards. Um, you know, had ADA ramp and, and ADA accessibility throughout the facility and space. Uh, you know, great lighting throughout. You know. Um, VCT town that is, you know, that is new and updated and, and lighting, LED lighting for uh, throughout the space as well um, to illuminate those areas and, and, and really just a, a nice modular complex to, to add there um, to assist with their capacity issues. In addition, it's going to be fully sprinkler. That one that we saw there uh, did not have a sprinkler system, but the one that is being installed uh, will have a fully sprinklered uh, system in that facility. Um, and so with that, I'm going to turn it over to the project manager just to give kind of a timeline and talk about uh, kind of where we are currently uh, and to discuss the schedule going forward from here. Good morning. Yeah, good evening all, uh, board member and also all the members of the panel. As uh, you've heard and as you've seen, uh, probably we have a work cut out for us in terms of uh, being able to accomplish the project within the shortest possible time. Uh, it's a proper a project designated and also sanctioned by the school board and also uh, the entire hierarchy. We have uh, marching orders and uh, probably our, our main goal is uh, probably to have the building ready by the first day of school. Uh, fortunately, we've been able to probably just have a jump start, you know, trying to get some of the tasks completed. Uh, but as you, we all know, it's not that easy as uh, construction is not an exact science. But notwithstanding, uh, based on our prior experience, you know, we're trying as much as possible either to improvise or to probably anticipate, you know, obstacles that we may or may not run into uh, to make sure that uh, we get this project wrapped up and then ready for school come uh, September. Uh, to start with, I think uh, to date, you know, we've been able to obtain the county council, uh, the Bowie County Council approval for new water connection. The reason we're getting a new water connection to the school is uh, currently we have a three, three inch water line uh, to the facility. Unfortunately, with the new uh, temp building, uh, with the new modular building that we're putting in, uh, the code required that the building be sprinkled. So based on that, the existing line will not be adequate. So that's why we are bringing a new uh, water line. And the uh, city of Bowie has on the, seven, on the 17th of uh, May, uh, granted a temporary uh, approval uh, for us to proceed with that. In the meantime, by uh, throughout the month of June, there are a number of uh, uh, benchmarks you know, that we're looking forward to accomplish you know, by you know, the construction team, currently reviewing the sites and the modular drawings, and also working with DP, DPI to complete the review of all site work and modular permit sets. Uh, once this is done, you know, uh, DPI will probably convey a pre-construction meeting, which uh, will attend, the school system will attend, along with uh, the city of Bowie and the contractor. Uh, for those of you that might have been going through the school or uh, probably driving by the school of late, yes, there's a little bit of asbestos abatement work ongoing right now uh, to take care of some of the uh, uh, current asbestos abatement uh, that is being handled by the school system. And uh, we hope to have that wrapped up before the end of June. And in the meantime, we're also getting the stormwater concept approval, WSSC site utility plan, combined sediment control and uh, this uh, sediment control uh, uh, control concept plan, stormwater management plan approval from the city of Bowie and the uh, site development and fine grading plan also from the city and also from DPI. Uh, these are all set for June. Uh, then come July through August, you know, that's where we'll probably have to do most of the heavy lifting uh, because uh, by then it's uh, we probably by July, you know, between July and August, we expect to probably uh, probably start uh, the site or at least complete the site survey, uh, do the utility marking, site stabilization for silt fence and storm water management, soil boring, bow retention fund, uh, which is required, you know, in order for us to do any site work on any facility in Prince George's County. And then once that's in place, you know, then we'll also have to probably install the new. Uh, uh, water lines uh, from Mullen Drive uh, to the school. This will be coordinated with the city of Bowie and WSSC. Uh, then once we also move on uh, at the same time, simultaneously we'll have to work on the foundation for the modulus. Once the foundation is in place and uh, we will set the modulus, they are being constructed in the factory. You know, they are pre-fabricated pre their uh, uh, structures as you can see from the video. 
Now, for some of you, you may think it's an individual facility, individual building that you see all the time around the county, but this is unique in the sense that it's a self-contained uh, facility and a state of the art in terms of it has all the amenities uh, with the exception of the multi-purpose room and the uh, lunch room, but it's self-contained, it has the, uh, the uh, the uh, restroom, classroom, and all the other facilities that's needed, you know, to function independently. And then uh, once we also have to increase the parking uh, parking space, you know, on the sidewalk, uh, install steps and ramp uh, to the modular and the back of the building. Uh, because of what we're doing with the sprinkler and with the building itself, we have to upgrade the power, you know, the electric connection uh, to the building. And we're working with BG and NE right now uh, to probably have that. Uh, 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 accomplished in no time. And once we have that, you know, we'll also simultaneously we'll be doing the interior uh, interior work, uh, data security, Wi-Fi, fire alarm, sprinkler sprinkler, and all the other things. Parking and also striking the, uh, striping the parking lots. Uh, we hope to have all this wrapped up by August, uh, because you know these kids have to be in that school. They have to be in that building. So it behooves us, you know, to probably anticipate whatever it is and whatever we need to do within now and then. Uh, to make sure the building is ready. So, and our moving right now target is by the end of August. That's our target to moving uh, into the facility. That's all I have. And network went down on me. I had to scramble to get back on here. Um, uh, so, uh, and we don't expect to have too much traffic um, uh, problems while this is going on. I know it was a question from the neighborhood. Uh, we, we are expecting maybe when they work on the water main there a little bit to bring the, the sprinkler system in, that they'll have flaggers, but when they bring in the system, I mean, bring in the modular, they don't anticipate to have any issues with navigating the street or bringing in. I, I spoke with uh, uh, Brad Goodman, who's their, their project manager for the contracting company, and we should have no issues there. Um, and in addition to this, um, we're hoping to add a, um, uh, a, uh, an addition onto this building into the future. It's right now, it's just a plan, but we're looking to put about a new, uh, a new gym and about 16 classrooms addition onto the building to make it a little bigger for future use. Um, and um, what we expect to do that sometime uh, within the next couple of years, but it's right now, it's gonna be also done as a modular structure or modular builds will be built offsite and then dropped in place. And so that's generally what we're looking at doing the future uh, at Meadowbrook. 